How's it going guys? I'm Star Jake and I'm here today with a brand new video. And here today I'm doing a video that I told myself multiple times that I was not going to do, but curiosity got the better of me and here we are now. So All right. I was friends with this guy on Instagram, all right? This is a guy that I was friends with for a few months. He wanted me to buy some CDs off of him. He wanted to work with me. And this guy seemed relatively cool for, um, well, the time being. He actually seemed like someone that I was okay with working with. In fact, there was a point where I even suggested to collaborate with this person. Because the person has a relatively decent idea for... His music, he seems to know exactly what he wants in the industry. And, you know, you get the idea. And I was going to help him. I was going to make instrumentals for him. I was going to uh, try helping him progress a little bit more in the community. But um, a couple of days ago, no, 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 about a week ago, out of nowhere, he blocked me I was going to Target to pick something up and he sent me a message he said hey what are you up to I said I'm going to Target to get something the next morning I'm blocked so I checked both of my profiles he has me blocked on both of my Instagram accounts he has me blocked on Facebook for some reason even though we never even communicated on there. Then, after blocking me, he announces on Instagram that he released an album. At first, I was confused. I was like, why would you want to... Did you, like... Are you trying to hide this from me or something? Because that's kind of what it seemed like. Because he blocked me and then immediately announced that this album was on streaming sites... So, uh, don't know if he was hiding something from me or whatnot, but I think I have 100% got to the bottom of the situation. So, alright, I, I don't want to say the name of this album because it's free publicity, but I really do not care. This is something that you all just have to look at. So, there's a group that I love called Unicorns Killed My Girlfriend, also known as Murder at the Dance Club. Fantastic group. I would recommend listening to them. And this guy recently made an album called OMFG. Now, this album, he sent me the artwork for this album and told me I can use it for one of my releases. And, I mean, I wasn't going to use it because... I like to create my own artwork when it comes down to my releases, but he was like, here's the artwork, I'm done making music, and so on and so on, and this album he published on streaming sites has that same artwork on it, except it's poorly cropped. Like, the parental advisory is cut off, the artwork is cut off on the angles, like... You can tell this guy has never submitted anything to streaming platforms before. But anyway, I'm sorry if I'm going on a lot. I'm just, I'm half asleep right now. I didn't sleep last night. I decided to check this album out and I gave it a fair shot. I was like, all right, this might be an okay album. It doesn't matter if he blocked you. Just listen to the album and see for yourself if it is worth listening to. And... Oh my god. Words cannot describe just how annoyed I am about this album. I can understand why he tried to hide it from me. When me and him were talking about a couple of months ago, it might have been a month ago actually, he asked me if I would send him the Murder at the Dance Club album, Sick Obsessions, and I was like, sure. So I went over to Media Fire and I sent him the album. And this is an album that you have to download through an MP3 website. This is not on streaming sites. It's not on um, 
YouTube, this album is like almost nowhere. So it's a relatively obscure album, but it's also a really good one. And I assumed he was just going to listen to the album. That way he could have it on his phone. But, um... He did way more than just listen to the album. He legitimately stole music from this group. Like, I'm not... I don't mean an instrumental or some lyrics. I mean 100% literally stole music from this group and claimed it as his. Alright. I'm gonna play an example, alright? This is I'm only gonna play one example so you all know exactly what I'm talking about. So on Sick Obsessions, the Murder at the Dance Club record, there is a song called Gone Forever, which is a deep cut off the album. And on this um f album, there is a song on the album called Forever. Now, here you go. Listen to the listen to them. Tell me if there's any similarities. This is 100% plagiarism. He literally stole the track, sped it up a little, and then he slapped it on the streaming sites and claimed ownership of it. You do realize you can, like, literally get sued for doing this, right? And I know that you can tweak the audio just a little bit to where it doesn't fall under that copyright license anymore, but this audio is barely tweaked. It's like almost the exact same length as the Murder at the Dance Club song. And I thought, huh, maybe it's just that one track. Maybe the rest of them are actually, you know, his music. And, uh, nope. Every single track is someone else's work, either sped up or slowed down a little. The entire album is a legit work of plagiarism. This album needs to be taken off of streaming sites. This album needs to be eradicated. This album does not need to exist. It is not his music. And I can see why he was a little bitch about it on Instagram. I can see why he blocked me right before uh, posting about it. It's because he stole the music that I sent him, and he's trying to claim ownership of it. And believe it or not, I've been warned of this before. I've had people tell me that I should not work with this guy because he's known for doing shady stuff like this. And, I mean, I've had a, I have a bad reputation myself. I know how rumors spread, so... I just brush them off and uh, just hope for the best. But, yeah, the rumors are actually true. So, there was one person that I know I'm still friends with her. Her name is Meadow. She uh, was going to make a collaboration album with him. And she blocked him for stealing instrumentals. 
and trying to sing over them, yet claiming ownership of the entire project. So that is one person. There is another person whose name I don't remember. I think her name was Nikki or something like that. She also posted on her Instagram story saying this guy stole, um, saying that this guy steals music, that he rips people off, and so on and so on. So that's two people, and I have finally seen for myself that he really is stealing music. This is the first album I've seen that he has published onto any website, but yeah. It's stolen music. Most of these songs, probably all of them, I didn't listen to every track on this album, but I did listen to like five of them. A lot of the tracks are by Unicorns Kill My Girlfriend slash Murder at the Dance Club. The first song I listened to was the song Forever, which was a, a straight up ripoff of Gone Forever. And... Yeah, I'm like really disappointed about this album. I'm disappointed about this person. I'm just... I cannot believe that this person is legitimately stupid enough to plagiarize someone else's work, claim ownership of it, and block me just so I wouldn't find out about it. I mean, that's got to be the whole reason why he blocked me. There's... Ugh. He literally blocked me right before he posted about this album. That's got to be the reason why he did it. He knows he stole music. He's trying to keep it a secret from me, but little does he know I have like 10 profiles on Instagram. So I was able to find out about it. And um, I just want to say that you're not an artist. You do not need to be stealing other people's work. If you stole my music, I would press charges because it's my music and, well, you know what? You get the idea of it. This is stolen music. You can literally get sued for this if the people who originally made this work were to find it. So yeah, the first thing I want to mention, the artwork, which was supposedly a gift to me for whatever reason... He used the artwork anyway and poorly cropped it on streaming sites. He stole other people's music and is claiming ownership of it and is getting paid through it. This is pathetic. I I just do not know what to say about it. This is just unbelievable. Yeah. Do not work with this guy. Do not affiliate with him. This guy steals people's music. This guy is very notorious right now within the alternative community. There are a lot of other people who are onto this guy for what he's been doing in the community. And I am, because I'm stupid, just now catching on to it. So, uh, yeah. Stolen music. Don't listen to it. Don't support this artist. Don't work with them. Just reported on streaming services, and make sure people know 100% that this is stolen music, all right? Because he does not deserve to get paid for someone else's work. That's not how it works in the music industry. So, uh, yeah, I hope I got my point across. Report it on streaming sites. Make sure this album gets deleted. Just report it. Don't work with him. You get the point. I'm kind of re repeating myself. So, uh, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you all later. Have a great night. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And do not support this f***. Alright? Bye-bye.